after many months since this game's release, has it improved at all and is it worth playing or has it died a death? Let's find out. So this game went through development hell and it looked like it was never going to be released. The surprise of Dead Island 2 releasing in April 2023 definitely created a hype train and we did give the game a bit of slack due to the development issues. So what is it like to play now? Is it worth your time? Here is an honest look. So graphically, it's impressive and it's one of the best looking zombie games I've ever played. The setting will give you a literal rod on thanks to the amazing light lighting effects and textures and the zombies look highly detailed and more disgusting than looking under your mum's bed. It's the best I've ever seen zombies look in a video game. The visuals did not need improvement since release and it's one of the strong points of this game. Gameplay. The zombie gore physics are the best we've ever seen in a game hands down. This did not need to be improved but sadly the combat remains lacking and very sluggish and the OP zombies you encounter at times still piss you the hell off unless you are a complete nerd and loot every single thing in the game and upgrade your gear to hell. Not everyone has the time to do that. As the game gets harder, zombies can be frustrating to kill and the lack of different ways to kill them still shows. Instead of having to beat the literal shit and piss out of a single zombie just to kill it, they should have just made it easier to kill them and focused on hordes instead. Our consoles and PCs are more than capable and imagine the carnage especially with these amazing physics if you had hordes of zombies chasing you it would have been amazing it's just not as fun killing small packs of zombies which can be hard as hell to kill gameplay as a whole just hasn't really improved much when compared to the original dead island since release, bugs have been fixed, but to be fair, there wasn't too many bugs in the release of this game, which was great to see, but sadly, in terms of gameplay, not much has changed. The story. Strangely, despite it being many months since release, there is a new story expansion, which I literally had no idea about until recently. Even the marketing is god awful, or well, I just somehow missed this. But if you would like to see a full video on whether the new story expansion is worth getting or not, just go ahead and like the video. But to sum up the Dead Island 2 main story, don't buy the game for the story alone, as it's a generic Last of Us 1 storyline, but done badly, with no interest characters. It still annoys me that none of the lazy ass characters in this game fight the zombies with you. You're literally the only one doing it. At least give us some mission variety where we can fight zombies with NPCs. It's the gameplay that will entice you to play. Don't expect Last of Us level writing because this ain't it. But there is some memorable moments like the zombie clown which will literally haunt your dreams forever. I did enjoy that segment. After you beat the game, there really isn't that much to do. This is something that really bugs me when developers overlook the need to have a purpose to pick up the game again. You have to give us something remotely decent to do after beating the story, or 80% of players just never touch it again. Pretty much just waste like $70, depending on how much it costs on release. And also the game just dies a death. At least they are trying to revive it with a new story expansion, but it kind of feels a bit late to do that. And I don't know about you, but Dead Island 2 already feels like it's being forgotten about, which is quite a shame. So should you play Dead Island 2? As always, I'm being completely honest here. The fact that this game does not have a big open world is a huge downer for me. The map is separated into small areas to explore with loads of loading screens in between them. And it just takes so much away from the immersion of being this dangerous world filled with zombies. And you also aren't able to drive vehicles like in the first game and twat zombies, which really does suck. The first game also had bigger open areas, which felt so much more immersive. And I thought the second game would build upon this and the co-op still isn't that fun to play because of this. And you're also not able to play with friends who are a mission ahead of you, which sucks, meaning you need to be at the exact same point in the story to play with your friends. Due to the hell this game went through during development, it's actually quite impressive how good the game is, all things considered. But I'd argue, if you gave the first game these graphics and gore physics, people would prefer to play that instead. Since release, has much changed? No. Does it mean this is a bad game? No. However, 
Feelings do begin to change when you look back at Dead Island 1 and realise how much potential this game had. So what I would say is due to how much this game has now reduced in price, this is definitely a game you should play if you are a big fan of zombies. Would you like to see a Dead Island 3? Like the video, let's see how many people still care about this franchise and comment below what you would like to see from it as there is so many things that could be done with this game. And if you would like to find out whether Assassin's Creed Mirage is worth playing or not since release, make sure to click the card on screen to check out that video. It's definitely worth checking out. Thank you guys for watching as always and have a great rest of your day.